the opportunity to learn from and be part of the team answering some of the big research questions in the field of biological sciences is one of the benefits of being an undergraduate or doctoral student at the University of Manchester's Faculty of Biology, Medicine and Health. Nick Thatcher went to meet students, academics, staff and clinicians to learn more about their innovative work improving the health of people around the world. Our immune system is at the heart of a vast array of diseases. And in this lab at the University of Manchester, they've developed new imaging techniques that allow researchers to visualize the key molecular components of an immune response. And it's a very exciting time to be studying immunology because right now, from all the detailed knowledge we have about how the immune system works, we have lots of exciting new ideas for medicines going forward, for how we might better tackle cancer, autoimmune disease, or other types of illnesses. And they all come from ways in which we could boost the power of your immune system to fight off these different kinds of illnesses. And the new Lydia Becker Institute of Immunology and Inflammation at the university brings together teams of scientific researchers from different fields of expertise to address the question of how the immune system is functioning in different disease states. Dr. John Granger is studying a key immune cell known as the macrophage. And these cells are really important because they have functions that are important to sort of healing the tissue and also protecting us against infection. But also they're very important in orchestrating the overall immune response. Um, so they actually tell the other immune cells what to do. And so from this perspective, understanding how this one cell functions might really help us to develop um, novel therapies to treat various different inflammatory diseases. Researchers here also work closely with local hospitals and Professor Anne Barton, who's a consultant rheumatologist, leads a programme of research into rheumatoid arthritis. Treatment of rheumatoid arthritis has really been transformed through knowledge of the immune cells that cause the condition and so it's a fantastic example and my work is based around trying to understand whether we can use knowledge of the immune system to match the right treatments to the right patients so that patients are receiving the treatment that's most likely to work for them. The University of Manchester is rated in the top five in the UK for research power in the biological sciences and that makes for an exciting environment in which to study because students are being taught by scientists working at the cutting edge of the global biological challenges. And there's research-driven teaching offered in 22 different degree programmes in everything from anatomy to zoology as well as the opportunity to study and learn anywhere in the world. We have field courses in South Africa where students look at large mammals and invertebrates and birds. They can go to Mallorca and look at like in a plant flora and fauna there. And equally our students can take a placement year and that can involve working in a research lab abroad. You could put a pin in the map and one of our students would be in that country. Rufus Dorr took a placement year in Thailand as an undergraduate and is now studying for a doctorate, researching how the liver responds to gut worm infections. You're learning about research that's so new and so exciting and it really kind of, as an undergraduate, gets you really interested into the subject, but then also it, it inspires you to want to take that further and ask your own questions about that subject. And that certainly was the case with me with immunology. The research being carried out at the School of Biological Sciences has a real-world impact far beyond the lab. For here, the university is committed to finding Manchester solutions to global challenges.